Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Justin. Welcome back to Justin Gamble Gamble. We're here in Los Angeles and we're making some sports card content. There's a bunch of card shops out here, so might as well check them out. Cute video. I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Belfort. Quick little tour of our Airbnb. Here's the room. Go into the living room and you got this crazy ass little view. Chill little vibe in. It's not that big of a place, but not the size of that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me why the balcony deck at this place is four times as big as the unit. I'm not complaining. Pretty cool. This, this view is just really insane. I can't believe sports cards has led to all this, but let's have some fun today. Let's go. When in LA, we have to stop by Bullpen. They have the coolest shop ever, bro. Look how big this place is. They have infinite wax, infinite cards. My boy Ryan is working. We're trying to make some deals happen here. I think we're gonna get something done. I have a whole stack of cards I want. Let's do it. Me and my buddy, buddy. we make it all of this money. Yeah. I know it's rude to be bragging. Hey. They never catching a slack. Hey. Me and my buddy, Woo. we working hard for this money. Whoa. You know I've been in my bag. Yeah. Buddy, I got it like that. Y'all yeah. better stop. Me and my boy gon' climb to the top. Sidekick game like Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah. Batman and Rob. Mm -hmm. Y'all know me, I'm down for the cost. Y'all know us, we start the party. Yeah. Go way back like Doc and Marty. Either die legend like John Lennon or end up solo like Paul McCarty. Let's go. Double use only, there's obvious signs. Looking around me, it's hard to deny. Well, boys, we might be doing something a little funny today. Might be buying a logo, man. Oh, buddy. Buddy. 2016, rookie of the year. All right. 2020, Malcolm Brogdon, one of one, logo man. What are the comps? Because I can't find anything. I am like, Looking up any Brogdon logo man, I can't find shit. There's other people that have sold, and they've sold for like, you know, whatever price. But I don't even know how that relates to Malcolm Brogdon, to be honest. I'm looking up at like Caleb Martin fucking logo man thinking that's right. supposed to do something. So we have Brandon Clark did like 900 or something. Okay. An accurate one, in my opinion, is Cameron Johnson's PSA 9. Okay. Did 15, and that's where I'm pretty much at. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really in-depth analysis. Really in-depth analysis on this one, fellas. OG Andrew did 18. OG did 18. But he's a pretty he's a pretty solid player. But I think OG's good though. K Love did a lot actually. Like 18 also? Yeah. Kira Lewis Jr. kind of did a lot. What the fuck? Isaiah Joe. Is I J Isaiah Joe good? No. Well he did like 400. Kevin Love did 1650. Is this game used? Mm-hmm. It is game used. Wow. That's surprising. It better be. Dude, I really want to give you a thousand dollars for this shit. I mean at 12. I didn't. 1K. If I buy this for 11, we're gonna work on the rest of this shit. Get me good on this shit and I'll buy it for 11. I'll see you on this shit. We'll see. The we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. All right, 1100's fine. All right, let's run that. Boom. Deal. This is my first NT logo man. That's dope. My first logo man, gone. If he sold it to me that quickly for $1,100, he definitely cooked somebody on this. How much you pay for that? We already comped that $1,000. Good shit. Time to hey. sell this shit to Pacoy for 2000. <laughs> hey. So I was fished into buying the Malcolm Brogdon. And that's all right. I'm buying three cards that, that I know I can comp. So this Anthony Edwards is dope. Problem is there's no PSA 10 comps from what I'm aware of. PSA 9 that it did around like $240, something like that. And then the raw did like $239. So whenever people say like, oh, the raw to PSA 9 equivalent is like there's a premium. There's really like, clearly there's not much recently. I don't know why. I value this thing at 450, like a double up on the PSA 9. I think it's a good value. I want it to be a 360. How much did you say? I want 375 net on it. 375. I'll do that for you. Yep, thank you. Four, but... Sabonis is $50 value and I know this is 255 comp like three times in a row. So what's that? 240. Thank you. 240 plus 375 plus 11. 1715. Successful day. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, appreciate it. I was about to walk out of this place, but they wheeled up a entire suitcase of more slabs. And like, I think you'd be interested in these. I'm like, well, probably will be. So I picked up a Kevin Durant auto, a Wembignana PSA 10, a Jalen Williams white select 10, a Jalen Hurts red shimmer 2021 contenders optic kid Cunningham Darius Slay blue shimmer auto, Benedict Matherin tie dye, a die cut PSA 10, Roquan Smith championship ticket PSA 10, and a Julius Randle sneakers spotlight. Number to 99. This one is dope because living in New York, Julius Randle is like the guy there. Pretty dope. All in all, from the trip coming here, I have picked up some bangers. Definitely worthwhile stopping by. Kind of insane. Like a days of work. Like I would go to a show to pick up this type level of cards and we just banged it off casually. And you know what's even better? While we were in here, I didn't get it on camera. Our boys, Hit Parade, were just randomly chilling, playing a basketball game in here. I think we're gonna go link up with them and get a beer. <laughs> Bro, hobby is dope when it's dope. When people are nice, it just makes it all so much better. I fucking love it. I love the networking. What I love so much about sports cards is how everyone, such a tight knit community. The amount of friends I've made through this stuff, really insane. I'm just excited. Let's go get a beer. Logo man. 
and rocking brews. Let's go. Oh my God, that looks good. You got a big ass pretzel. Yes, sir. Cheers. What's up, Tom? <laughs> How's it going? It's weird seeing you not at a show. Random ass visit at bullpen turns into uh, drinks and some dinner. Fantastic. Good to see you, Tom. Hey, always a pleasure. So I'm on a wild goose chase trying to find Sam Howell True RPAs right now. When I was in Atlanta, they were comping it with 1700 when I flipped them. I didn't know a BGS 8.5 just sold for $664. So I just pull over to the side of the road because I put on my story. I'm buying Sam Howell Trues. I will literally pay you a finder's fee if you help me find Sam Howell Trues. You know who reached out to me? My boy Cardmon. Cardmon is sharp. Too sharp. He goes, you know, I got that thing. I'm like, no way. He goes, yep, somehow, some way. His is a BGS 9.5 though. He goes, get me at anything above 1,200 and we're done. Done deal, price above 12 for me tonight. Tomorrow could be different. Gotta see what these packages gotta say tomorrow. You know how it goes. I go, 12.05 done. Thank you, Mr. Mon. Typing. He goes, I may be dyslexic, but I think that reads 12.50 done. What? At the finish line? What the fuck? 12.20 and that's it. Done. Send me your info. Done. Done, we got it, thank you. Hello, whiskey dog. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you guys are friends like sports cards, please share them. Justin Gamble, Gamble. If any of you have Sam Howell True RPAs numbered to 99, it has to be numbered to 99, not 49, not 10, not 25, not fucking anything, not 75, has to be to 99 NT. Let me know. Hit me up on Instagram at Justin Gamble, Gamble. I'm buying them. And if you have friends who have any of those cards, I'll give you a finder's fee if the deal goes through. But like always, I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new vlog. Peace. Live, shake, west, bitch, I'm